Hey guys, Phoebe here from Little Grey Box. Now Matt and I are in beautiful Vancouver, uncovering a few of the best things to see, eat and do. Now these tips are perfect for anybody who wants to experience Vancouver in the summer, but only has a couple of days and a very limited budget to do it. Let's go. Located at the northwestern edge of downtown Vancouver, Stanley Park has been a designated green space for over 130 years. Now, it's a really popular spot for visitors and locals and it is easy to see why. You can visit beaches, wander trails lined with beautiful cedar, fir and hemlock trees, visit the aquarium, check out the seawall, there are cafes, plenty of spots for a picnic and of course you can hire a bike and whiz around. For the very best free views of Vancouver, you want to head right here to the high view lookout at the Cypress Provincial Park. Now we have a hire car, so we drove up here super easily. There's a parking lot. You can just jump out, spend some time, have a picnic, and get a sense of the size and scope of Van City. As you can see, the Capilano suspension bridge is a real favorite among tourists. I mean, it's absolutely packed and I'm freaking out. I have really bad social anxiety and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to bring myself to get on there because it's a little bit claustrophobic. So in addition to the suspension bridge, you can do a cliff walk and there's some cool treetop adventures too. There's plenty of food to eat and a little bit of shopping you can do at the trading post. Of the heights, I'm afraid of the amount of people on here, it is freaking me out. If you have shocking social anxiety, proceed with caution. <laughs> if you're a normal functioning human, enjoy yourself. Sun Yat Sen Classical Garden and it is beautiful. If you love gardens like I do, you will love this one. Vancouver's Chinatown is one of the largest in the world and for those on a budget it is the perfect place to explore on foot and take in a little bit of local culture and history along the way. Behind me is the Sam Key Building and it is the narrowest building in the world. I know what you're thinking, Phoebe, it's not that narrow but I want you to take a look at the two different paint colours. That dark paint, that's the Sam Key Building. Gastown and Chinatown for a couple of hours now and there are a few people on the streets who might be homeless or a little bit down on their luck. If you aren't from a country that has those kinds of issues you may find it intimidating but honestly we've had no problems. As with any country anywhere in the world just be a safe traveler and keep your wits about you. You can't come to Vancouver without visiting its oldest neighborhood Gastown. Now this area grew from a single tavern founded by John Gassy Jack Dayton way back in 1867 and is now growing into a charming, historic and quaint part of beautiful Vancouver. There are lots of boutiques, shops, great places to eat and of course the iconic steam block which you see behind me. Walk around, dip into shops, grab a cheap bite to eat from somewhere like the warehouse where all food is $5.95 and experience Vancouver. You can't come to Canada without trying poutine. Now Matt and I are both vegetarians, so we are here at Mean Poutine, where the gravy is herbivore friendly. What the heck is poutine? If you've never seen or heard of it before, it is a French Canadian classic. They take perfectly cooked, crunchy French fries, cover them in gravy, cheese curds, French onions, and there are a whole bunch of other toppings you can try too. Canadian foods and delicious budget eats do not get any better 
than these bad boys. You are staring right down the barrel of a box of Timbits. If you don't know what a Timbit is, look, it comes from Tim Hortons, hence the name Tim, and the bit, well, they are essentially donut holes. So they're just a little round, bite-sized, tasty morsels of donut, and they are so good. Now this box of 10 cost me $2.29. Absolute bargain. market is perfect for anyone on a budget because it has a wealth of food that you can try. Now this is the first time my deprived Australian eyes have ever laid themselves on pierogies. My dad is Canadian, he has been talking about pierogies since before I can remember. Now what they are is yummy yummy dumplings filled with all kinds of great things like ground meat, cheese, potato and onion. I'm really excited for this, this feels like a big life moment. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not a seal. It's a chicken. That's a chicken. An aggressive looking chicken. That thing is huge. the sea to sky gondola now it's about a 45 minute drive from downtown Vancouver now the views up here are stunning they're absolutely incredible there are loads of trails food you can bring your own for a picnic one thing I will say obviously this isn't a super budget option but if you are going to splash out on one experience this has to be it so far this is my favorite thing we've done Sun begins to set, I recommend coming right here to the Shannon Falls Provincial Park where you'll find the incredible Shannon Falls. Now they are the third largest falls in British Columbia. The drive will take you around 35 to 40 minutes from downtown Vancouver. But if you're done to see the sky gondola, it's a one or two minutes down the road, so you can easily pop in. somewhere to stay it was really hard for us because it was peak season it's super expensive so we went on Airbnb and yeah we stayed in North Vancouver at an Airbnb for two nights and then we went to Walmart bought all brand new camping supplies and we headed out to a little campsite called Porto Cove near Squamish it's $20 a night for a walk inside of Porto Cove and the views are incredible Porto Cove is stunning you've got the cove you can swim out the front there are mountains in the background the sunsets are incredible I love it. Thank you so much for watching you guys. We hope you found this video helpful. If you don't already, be sure to subscribe, join our travel fun family, and say hello in the comments below. Have a great weekend and we will see you next week. Love ya.